The Cardinals are on a magical run to end this season. They just win game after game after game. They're just winning and winning and winning. Their longest win streak in franchise history. At times, it feels like they got magic on their side. Even bloopers go in their favor, and they thought they had another one of those in this game, but then it didn't go their way, and they got a little mad about it. They want to have the magic on their side. This one's brought to you by SeatGeek. You can sit in these good seats, and you get $20 off your first order if you use code JOMBOY. Thanks, SeatGeek. Take in some baseball. Feel like royalty. All right, let's get into it. Romine's up, looking scraggly, looking rugged, looking beautiful, looking like how a catcher should. He's going to take this 3-2 pitch that's a little outside low. I don't know. Ooh, looked pretty good to me. He wants it as well, but that is a runner on first, and that is a grown man in full uniform at the game, and this is the Frank Schwindel fan club. Let's go, Frankie! Woo! He's not even up yet. He's on deck. First, another 3-2 pitch just misses. They celebrate. And they're like, oh, ball. Guys, come on. Let's get a fucking base hit. Let's go. Let's go, Frankie. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. Frankie's up. Frankie's up. Watch, watch. There he is. Oh, my God. And there he is. Oh, my God. So here he comes. The hero. Rookie of the year. Bam. Straight in the air. What's going to happen? Arenado's got it for one out. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he slips. Okay, get him at third. Turn the double play. Get him at second. Cardinals think they do it. Everyone's like, no, no. Oh, let's tag him again just to be case he ran off the bag. And then they're like, no, time, time, time. Hey, umps, let's all get together and chat about this, see what happened. Here's what happened. Arenado goes for this ball. He wants to catch it. He doesn't want to drop it on purpose. He throws on the brakes, and you can see his left foot slip and then hit the lip of the grass, and then he's down. And the ball lands in fair territory. But you can see the umpire. Gabe, down the third base line, he's calling this an infield fly, which means the batter is automatically out and the runners ha can advance on their own or they can stay put. It's up to them. If they do advance, they have to be tagged. It's a force out because they can always return to the base that they're at. It's a proper call. That is an infield fly. The infield fly rule exists for this very reason because Arenado could just drop that on purpose, leave the runners in no man's land, and turn easy double plays like this. That's why the infield fly rule exists. So you can see right there that he did call it. The only problem is the Cardinals didn't understand that he called it. The Cubs didn't understand that he called it. And second base umpire, he didn't know they called it because he thinks this is a force out and he rings up the runner. And then when the Cardinals go to tag, because Goldie was like, tag him, tag him, tag him, he overran the base. You can see the umpire at this point say, time, no, 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 time is out, time is out. This umpire is saying he only overran the base because I messed up and I had the rule wrong, so that's on me. But if you look at it, runner was running past the bag. It had nothing to do with the ump's mechanic or the ump saying out. He as well thought he was forced out and was going to overrun the bag, whether that umpire did that mechanic or not. But the umpire doesn't think that. He thinks the only reason he overran the bag is because he called him out. So he has to fix that. So he calls timeout. And that's where we get in trouble because they say, yep, you're safe and you're safe. And there's two outs. And that's where manager of the Cardinals gets really mad. He said, there was not time. Who? He's like, I called time. And he was like, you call time? Tell me you called time to my face. Explain it to me. I don't care about that. It's not another fucking rule. And he says, he comes off the bag, and I called time. I called time. He's like, the play was not fucking over. It was not fucking over. You fucked that up. Yeah, you fucked. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care what you tell me. And then the head ump, uh, home plate ump, is trying to say, I know, but that's what happened. And he's like, well, that's fucked up. They messed up. He tries explaining it to him. He's like, that's bullshit. He comes off the bag and he tags him. He's fucked it up. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. And then he's going to say, and you know it. And that gets him ejected. You can't point in the numb's face and say, and you know it. So that's what happened. I mean, he did fuck it up. But didn't matter because they got the next strikeout anyway. The magic continues. These guys get to celebrate. They're in their nice seats. Seat Geek, living large. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Go get yourself some nice seats. You get $20 off using code JOMBOY. And that's basically what happened. Infield fly rule was properly called. Umpire at second base did fuck it up, in my opinion. Definitely didn't get it right. He's on the wrong page.